going on guys? It's been a long time. I took all last year off, didn't make a single video, but trust me, I've been cooking. One of the recipes that I've really been after lately is Birria Queso Tacos. I tried them out at a few different places and they are super good, uh, but it's a super involved recipe and I'm here to make it today. Uh, so please bear with me as I try to get back on track making these videos for you guys. Uh, but let's get into the action and look at all the stuff involved in this operation. These tacos are very good, a uh, traditional Mexican dish. Uh, today we're making them with uh, beef and uh, it's going to be great. So enjoy and uh, let's see how these turn out. soft now we're going to transfer them to a bowl make a huge mess because that's what I do get all these out of here and uh, get them blended up with some of our uh, other ingredients
Alright. First thing we're gonna add is a cinnamon stick. It's kinda new for me, but I'll throw it in there. We need five or six bay leaves. A little bit broken. Okay. It'll get more and more incorporated. Just make sure all this goodness gets down to the bottom layer. Not making too much of a mess. Alright. And I think that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this lid off so it seals nicely. And uh, put our lid on. Alright, so what we're gonna do we are going to pressure cook on more and we're going to go 55 minutes we're going to make sure that our lid up here is on ceiling so it holds the pressure and when it's done we are going to let it natural release um, while we prepare the rest of our stuff so I'll catch you back in a little over an hour. All right guys, the Instapot just finished. We're gonna let the steam out and see what this beef looks like. Let me get the camera on this thing. One hour later. Well, if you can tell, I didn't let it naturally release because it's getting late and I'm getting hungry. Uh, so I think I can finally open the lid. Uh, let's give it a try here. Scooch down. See what we're working with. Good. Let's see if we can get a better view here. There we 
go. Let's uh, take some of this meat out of here. Ooh. Move you over to my bowl. Wow. It just comes right off the bone. Well, it's definitely tender. Use my good hand here. Get these bones out of the way. See if we can get some of this stuff shredded up. Oh yeah. Alright guys, well I'm going to fight with this for a little bit and we'll be right back. Alright guys, there's our beautiful shredded beef birria. This is the leftover juices, which people refer to as the consomme. So our next step is going to be to skim the top layer of this off and we are going to fry our tortillas on it. And we are going to fry our tortillas on the griddle. So I'll be right back we'll get started on that. All right, guys, we finally made it out to the garage. We're gonna give these three a taco to try. I got some oaxaca queso cheese, I have chopped onions, cilantro, corn tortillas, we've got our meat, we've got our consomme, we've got the oil off the top to fry the tortillas in, and some limes for finishing. So let's give this a whirl and see how they turn out. Get warm and we're gonna flip them. Alright, we got a good fry on one side. Let's take some of our cheese. Generous portion of cheese on these guys. cheese melt for a little bit and then we'll add our meat.
for good measure, we'll put a little bit more cheese. Nice and melty. Might as well put a little bit more juicy in this in here from the consomme. Diced onions. A little bit of cilantro. Now let's soak these bad boys flip over. See if we can flip these or if they're just going to fall apart. Oh, nice. All right. Just for good measure, we're going to put a little bit of this on there. Bad girls are done. Let's take this nasty looking one off first. tacos made in the Instapot and on the Blackstone. Let's go give these suckers a try. All right guys, look at that. It turned out looking pretty good. It's going to be pretty messy. I'm going to give it a try and uh, we'll see how it is. Let's dig in. Well, there you have it guys. These tacos are delicious. Um, better than any of the restaurants around that I've had so far. Um, not many places around to have them, but these are delicious. It is a labor of love. It was a lot of work, you know. It's 9.13 at night right now. My kids are in bed. Just finished cooking these off. Um, down the driveway. 
Um, but man, they're delicious. Take one more bite here. Mmm. So much flavor. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'll leave a recipe down below. And uh, keep on watching, keep on cooking. Thanks.